Hey guys, in this video we'll see how to create these bushes inspired by Studio Ghibli. They are a type of assets ideal for building lush environments and can be customized easily. We start with this mesh made of quad polygons. As you can see here, I added some cuts to make the mesh more complex and detailed. Let's jump right into the mesh creation process in Blender. First, create a cube as a reference, size 2 meters by 2 meters. Then, under Edit Preferences, enable the plugin called Tree Sample Generator. Under Curves, select the following voice to automatically create our bush. Next, we'll create the leaves and set them to a square shape. Go ahead and delete the trunk. Select the leaves and scale them to match the cube size. At this point, we need to convert the leaves into a quad polygon mesh. Under the Remesh modifier, apply the effect until we achieve a shape like this. Each quad polygon will form the shape of a leaf, so avoid using squares that are too small, as this can affect your scene optimization. As a reference, aim for around 0.15 cm per quad polygon. Now let's delay the bottom part of the mesh. It's unnecessary. I want to show you three variations of the mesh. To do this, duplicate the model using Shift D. And again for a third version. We'll leave the first version as is. For the second, we'll add a displace modifier using a Voronoi texture. And tweak the values to adjust the displacement effect. For the third version, we'll do the same, but slightly increase the strength of the displacement. This helped demonstrate the visual difference created by varying the displacement. Once we import the models into Unreal Engine, it will be easier to see the effect. Now let's add some variation. Select some polygons at random and delete certain part of the bush. This adds interest and a uniqueness to the bush. These are just tests, everyone could define their own style. Maybe remove a few more on this side, and I'd say we are done. Now let's select and merge all the bushes using Shift J. Then in the edit mode, select all faces and reset the UVs. This ensures each quad polygon is separated properly. Now 
Let's export the model and get ready to import it into Unreal. As you can see, I've created a new project. I'll import the mesh now. In the description, you'll find download links for two files. One is an image representing the bush leaves and the other is a master material in the form of UE asset. Copy or drag them into your newly created project folder under content. They will automatically appear in the project. Here's the master material, which we'll explore in more detail in a moment. And here's the leaf image, which determines the shape of the leaves. Now, I'll create a material instance from the master material to show you how it works with all its values. Then, let's apply the material instance to the three bushes and begin with the billboard settings. Increase the value and boom. Now you'll see the bushes. Each quad polygon displays the leaf image with a green tint defined by the master material. You can change the main color here. Copy this number to get the exact same color. The underside color defines the color for the bottom part of the bush. Use shifts, add color variation to the underside. Normal add increases or decreases the underside color's presence on the mesh surface. Normal power blends the two colors. The wind nodes are standard. Simply increase the values to give a bit of movement. Here. We can still tweak the billboard size to make the bush look uh, fluffier. That's how the material instance work. Now let's move on to the master material itself. Let's now create the master material. The material is a classic surface masked two-sided shader. Start with the color section. Create a vector 3 node. Choose a color and convert it into a parameter. Add a multiply node with a scalar parameter called underside color which defines the leaf's underside. To 
YU ship node and its color parameter that will change the color of the underside color. Next, create a LERP node. Connect the U shift to B and the original color to A. For the alpha, use a vertex normal WS node. With a breakout float three components. On the B, add a net node with another scalar parameter the one that increase or decrease the underside color. Then add a multiply with a value of 0.5, a power node with a scalar parameter, normal power, that will mix the two colors. And lastly, a minus one node. Now use a desaturation node, but remember to use a minus one node to avoid full desaturation. Link a zero value to the following settings. Other textures, linked in the description, that defines the leaf shape. Just drag and drop it into the material. Next, we set up the world position offset for wind movement. We set up a simple wind node and generate the following scalar parameters. Now let's move on the hard part of the code. Let's do some math. Start with the texture coordinates. Minus one. Multiply it by two. Subtract it by one. and multiply it by a 2 vector with a value of minus 1 and 1. Append it with a 0 value. All these nodes and values are the math that will scale and rotate every single billboard present on the leaf's shape. Now add a transform vector and change its setting from camera space to local space. Normalize it. multiplied by a scalar parameter 
and add again a transform vector from local to wall space. These nodes ensure the leaves orient towards the camera. Add these remaining nodes and parameters to connect the result to the last wind node. Do not forget to organize the scalar parameters for better order in the material instances. And that's it. Let's move on to a shadow demonstration. When I move my character underneath, you'll see that the billboards cast proper shadows. Now I reopen the initial scene and import the bushes to show how to add mesh like this into an existing project. Here we are. Let's import and set the material. I'll need to adjust the billboard size as they are currently too large. The material instance settings are almost identical to the ones we created. Earlier. That's it. I hope this video was helpful. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!